Hey, what's going on, everybody? So we got the Short Porsche the Bomb bat. This is their very first ever player signature bat. So this is the Higgy and the Dyke signature the Bomb bat guys from Short Porch. Um, this is a little different than the wig popper. So don't think this is the wig popper. It's not a repaint because they built this bat different. Um, Chad and myself are going to be out here in Apex, North Carolina. We're going to put some swings on this bat. We're going to let you guys know what we think about it. We're going to start out here by compression testing this. And you're going to say, hey, why compression test? Well, guys, I want to give you an idea of how the bat breaks down. So we're going to start out compression testing this and doing the wrapper, okay? So let's get started. Okay, guys. We're going to test the short porch the bomb. Still in the wrapper. I know you don't want to normally test in the wrapper, but we'll just showing you see where it starts out at. 1550, which is like 242. Miles per hour. 75 miles per hour. It comes off good, man. Yeah. 88 miles per hour. That sounds good. You didn't like you hit that, like you missed it a little bit. I went out there where Josh's was at. <laughs> hey. God damn. Hey. You can hit. 93 miles per hour. What was that? 93. 96 miles See how you just got to swing so much sooner? I cut the shit out of that one. Yep. 84 miles per hour. 84 well, I figured that out because of what you told me. Hey, guys, let's, let's get a little bit of information about the DeBomb bat from Short Porch. Basically, this has a 12 and a half inch barrel compared to, say, the, the uh, wig popper that had a 12 inch barrel. These come in sizes of 25 ounces all the way up to 28. Um, these have a half ounce inload. Um, Let's show you up close what the bat looks like. It's got a kind of like a Carolina baby blue. Um, this is the Dykes and Higgy uh, signature bat. It's got the same end cap as the uh, wig popper. And it's still got the same small um, small knob here. But uh, this is built a little different than, say, the wig popper. So, you know, the wig popper is hot out of the wrapper. Um, this one's a little bit different. It's made up a little bit different. Handles a touch stiffer, but, but not a lot. Just a little bit. Barrel is definitely built, uh, made a little different. They built this barrel a little different than, say, the wig popper. So we're going to talk about that in a little bit, okay? 79 miles per hour. 77 miles per hour. 78 miles per hour. 76 miles per hour. I'm good. 90 Crushed. miles per hour. Crushed. Absolutely pissed on. That's 340 yeah, on the line. 340 on the line. Yep. 99 yep, 99. Let's go. Let's go. 40, yep. 93 miles oh, man. I thought you killed that thing. I hit it off the handle. Ah. Yep. 94 miles per hour. You're locked in. Okay, guys, we're going to scale this 27 ounce the bomb short porch. Came in at 26.5. And load is 17.1. And is 9.2. 79 miles per hour. 80 miles per hour. 79 miles per hour. 76 miles per hour. 93 miles. That's a, that's a hour. cut. That is a cut. Oh my god. 370. Right there is 370. On a line. Yep. 92 miles per hour. 
two miles per hour. <laughs> that gonna hit the light? Shit. Hey! <laughs> Well, look, if I was trying to look better than what I actually am, I'd use them too. For... Okay, guys, we're going to test it just to kind of see how it broke down. No, nobody gets tested in senior bats, but let's just see how this thing broke down real quick with compression. So it's right at 1500, which is... 230 man this thing ain't even close to breaking in but that oh i like that i really do like that 82 miles per hour miles per hour 79 miles per hour 80 miles per hour yeah that was hit well for me 77 miles per hour yeah, percent six feet after 85 miles per hour I ain't giving him the satisfaction. <laughs> all the balls are good with that bat. All Boy, right. somebody's turned into a salesman, Josh. <laughs> I mean, 87 miles per hour. I think there's a word for that. It's it starts with sell. It doesn't end with <laughs> man, though. 100 miles. Hey, per let's go. Normal freaking BP ball. Oh my hour. god. 99. Oh my god. Okay guys, so you're seeing me out here in our old stomping grounds in Zebulon and I wanted to put some more swings on the bat um, to get a better feel for it. Um, the day I hit with Chad, I didn't get the greatest feel for it. I didn't have the best day hitting. So I was like, with this bat testing so high, because it really kind of shocked me how high this bat tested after we put about 180 swings on it, which was testing at 180. But I was like, man, I just really want to go put, get a better feel for this bat. And like I said, just to kind of figure out what, you know, it's testing so high. Um, and so we just kind of went out here, put about another 120 to 130 more swings on it. And then we basically tested it again. And I was wanted to kind of get an idea and compare it to the uh, wig popper. So here we go, testing it guys. And then I'll kind of follow up with uh, what we think about the bat, okay? It's about 14.25. So it's about 2.15. Okay, guys. So you saw us finish up with a short portion of the bottom back, guys. And you can tell this was this was basically not a repaint of the wig popper. Um, out of the wrapper, the bat performed pretty well. Chad really liked it. And Chad has much higher bat, bat speed than I do. And then we did go up an ounce in weight compared to the one we swung before. So we're swinging a 27 ounce here. Um, guys, I messaged the guys over at Short Porch and I said, hey, you definitely changed this bat up compared to the wig popper, right? And they're saying, yeah, they stiffened the handle up just a touch and they made the barrel up a little bit different. Well, you saw when I was just like, hey man, this thing's still testing high. So that's why I noticed it's a lot of compression testing in the video and, I'm, and I apologize guys, but I was just kind of trying to give you an idea of how this bat broke down. Um, it's got a big sweet spot. It's the handle, you don't, I don't, honestly, you don't, you don't notice the handle. Uh, it's got the half ounce end load. It does feel heavier than a half ounce, um, more maybe like a three quarter ounce. Um, then say some of the other half ounce in lows. Like if you were to compare it to a Worth or a Mike, and this feels a touch heavier. But guys, this is for your top tier guys. But I'm not saying the older guys can't hit this or the guys with lower bat speed can't hit this. It's just going to take a little bit longer to break in. So when I messaged the guys over at Short Porch, I asked them some questions about this. And he said, well, yeah, we, we want to make bats for all different hitters. We want bats for guys that have lower bat speeds. We want bats for guys that have higher bat speeds. Um... And this is, this is probably the bat for the guys with higher bat speeds, but I mean, I'm on the borderline, dude. I'm, I'm right there in the 70s, low 80s. So I like this bat. If, I have, if I'm gonna go game a bat in a tournament right now, this is what I'm swinging. Um, I, this bat is where I want it right now. It's like right at 215, so this is what I would be swinging. Um, but they said that they wanna make 
bats for all age groups and all different tiers and stuff. Yeah, the 40 and 50 year old guys are gonna really love this guy. I do think the older guys will like this. It's just gonna take a little bit longer to break in. Guys, you can get these at Short Porch uh, Baseball Company. It, um, if you wanna message me and let, you wanna know how to get, get one for yourself, message me and I'll try to take care of you guys. But uh, I guess that's it guys. Until next time, keep hitting it. And guys, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And hey, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.